It's simple to make a new catalogue in Capture One. Simply browse to File and choose New Catalogue. Give a name for your catalogue and choose a location by clicking here. For the best performance, place it on the internal drive of your system. Press OK and the catalogue will be created and opened. If you insert a memory card into your system, the import window will pop up automatically. Otherwise, simply press the Import button or choose File, Import Images here. Import From shows the source of where you're getting your images from, in this case a memory card. To choose a different location, simply select it from the drop down menu. To include subfolders, check the box, and also to prevent duplicates being imported, check the second box. Import To shows where you're going to import your images to. Current location means that the images will simply be left where they are, but the catalog will know how to reference to them. In this case, as we're importing from a memory card, we will want to choose a folder of where to place the images to. A further subfolder can be created either by manually typing in this field or clicking here to choose a token. A token takes some aspect from the image and uses that to create a folder. For example, the date that the image was captured. To create a backup of all the images that have been imported, simply check the Backup Enable box and choose a location to send them to. The Naming section decides on the name for your images as they're imported into the catalog. By default, it will use the name as it's shown in the Import Images window. To change the naming convention, it's a similar way to using the subfolder tokens earlier but by using different tokens for naming. In the metadata section, some basic copyright and description data can be added. And in the adjustment section, a style or preset can be applied to the image as it's imported. We could also choose to add our own presets, for example, like a more extensive metadata preset to add that to the images on import. To auto adjust the images, simply check the box here. And if the images have been adjusted before in Capture One, they can be recognised by ticking the second box. Once you're happy with the settings, simply click Import All and the import process will start. Once the import process has finished, you can manage your catalogue in the first tool tab, which is the Library tool tab. This is split into three sections and the last section, Folders, shows you the exact location of all your images. The first section, Catalog Collections, simply shows fixed collections of all your images, for example, and the 10 most recent imports. Finally, User Collections is an area where we can organise our catalog using albums, smart albums, projects and groups.